My name is Mr. Han, and I am, oh, Mr. Juliana's dad, rather. Uh, and I'm the dad of Juliana and Jesse. So what I'm going to read to you today is a beautiful book by Wendy Anderson Halperin called Peace. For there to be peace in the world, there must be peace in nations. For there to be peace in nations, there must be peace in cities. For there to be peace in cities, there must be peace in neighborhoods. For there to be peace in neighborhoods, there must be peace in schools. For there to be peace in schools, there must be peace in homes. For there to be peace in homes, there must be peace in our hearts. When there is peace in our hearts, there will be peace in our homes. There will be peace in our homes when there is peace in our schools. There will be peace in our schools when there is peace in our neighborhoods. There will be peace in our neighborhoods when there is peace in our cities. There will be peace in our cities when there is peace in our nations. There will be peace in our nations. And we will have peace, peace in our world. This morning's reading is the ninth verse of the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Brief and familiar like the other blessings that we call the Beatitudes, this verse differs from those others, and it's more difficult than those others. It calls on us not to be something, but to do something. Here Jesus admonishes us not just to be peaceful, peaceable, we are also to make peace. After all, swords don't beat themselves into plowshares, and spears, it turns out, aren't the most efficient instruments for trimming trees. Making peace is hard, whether it's in our neighborhoods or our schools or the community of nations. Once made, that peace must be kept, lest it become just an anxious truce, an uneasy ceasefire. We are called children of God when we smile at our neighbors, when we love our in-laws, when we remind ourselves that ours is not always the only way. We deserve to keep that blessed name when we do these things over and over, not just making the peace, but keeping it in the name of the God whose word we are so thankful for. Thanks be to God. Good morning. My name is Emily, and I am Zachary and Isabel's mommy, and I also teach kids just like you. I teach kindergarten and first grade and second grade and third grade and fourth grade. Does that cover everybody here? I teach lots of things, but one of the things that I am teaching right now is a song in Swahili. Who knows what Swahili is? Does anybody know what Swahili is? Ben, what is Swahili? It is a language. What kind of language? 
It is an African language. Nice. So I'm teaching a song in Swahili, which is an African language. And I'm going to teach you a tiny, tiny bit of that song in a second. But the first line, it goes like this. And that means all beings who sing have a right to be called children of God. And we talk in our class, we have fun talking about all the different ways that living beings sing, not just people, but animals. What's your favorite animal? Anybody have a favorite animal? What's your favorite animal? An elephant. How does an elephant sing, do you think? What does, this, what does an elephant say? Can you do an elephant sound for me? <laughs> Can you do an elephant sound? <laughs> <laughs> So that's the way an elephant sings. And what's another favorite animal that you have? Ben. A whale. How does a whale sing? Can you do it for me? Oh, we got another whale sound over here. You do animal sounds. Can you do it for me? (laughs) So a whale sings. So this is how all beings sing. And human beings sing and make music in all sorts of different ways. So we can sing or we can dance. That's another way of making music. We can clap our hands And we can also pray. So when I sing this song with my kids at school and at home, because Zachary and Isabel were practicing this with me this morning, it reminds me that no matter what language we speak, how beautiful or interesting we sound when we make our music, that we are all children of God. So we're going to learn this first line. Get ready. Repeat after me. Our congregation can join in as well. Bon se apa. Mupoka lela, bali pele maka, aku bana. Ooh, very nice. Bon se aba mupoka lela, bali pele maka, aku bana. So as you go about your week and you make music in all sorts of different ways and you listen to others making their music, even if it's different than yours, remember that we are all children of God. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you. Everywhere, 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 you may go. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you. Everywhere. Everywhere.